Hi, I'm Robert Jack, Dennis and Sices. Today, uh, along with our corporate uh, partners, we've got our corporate sponsors. We've had a day, a seminar day, presented um, six, seven different speakers talking on a range of subjects for cricket groundsmen or ground staff. So today, um, the day was really um, conceived by Sean Williams, who's the head groundsman here, and he approached us and said, you know, could we put a day on? Um, we came and met with Sean and the guys from Gloucester um, Cricket Groundsman's Association, arranged the day, been absolutely blown away. Um, we've had over 250, I think probably over 260 Grounds uh, staff here today, uh, which is hugely gratifying. It's an opportunity for them to obviously, A, or for us to meet them, for them to meet us, to meet the uh, trade sponsors, but also to, you know, to, to just network together, to chat to one another um, informally, uh, listen to these presentations together, but then discuss those things informally over a cup of tea, over lunch or whatever. My name's Arthur Jupp. I'm the chairman of Letchley Cricket Club. Um, I found today both informative and quite amusing, actually. I thought the uh, I thought Barry was hilarious, um, but he brought he used humour to bring into sharp focus the kind of problems that Nigel faces on a day-to-day -day basis. It wasn't a day for chairman, but I'm really glad I came. I now have a far deeper insight into something that, if I'm honest, I knew very little about. So I'm Nigel Pearce, uh, groundsman at Letchley Cricket Club. Uh, for me it was great to catch up with uh, a number of fellow groundsmen who I already knew and also new groundsmen. Um, it was also uh, really interesting listening to Chris, uh, having the opportunity to go out and uh, look at uh, the, uh, the square here uh, at Bristol. Um, and uh, I'm pleased that Arthur's learned a lot more. He's got my shopping list of equipment that I would like for uh, <laughs> next season. Um, and so look forward to coming to the next one. Come, I come here today because Probably a good time of year to take a couple of days off. Is that I know a lot of the lads in the trade, so I've come up with a couple of work colleagues from from um, Sherborne School and Millfield School, which are our neighbour and big school. I mean, Millfield School is probably one of the biggest schools in the country, sporting school. But we all got this sort of network working with one another, and, and interested to see what's going on. Also, I've done a little bit of work here with Sean on the ECB One Day Games when he asked for the extra staff to come in. So I'm seeing it on a different. Normally, I see it on a when it's. 20,000 people in there and a couple of days when there's nobody here it's such to find a marquee on the middle of your pitch you think what's going on but I understand why they're doing it and the reasons for doing it uh, I've come down come brought me a uh, couple of assistants down today uh, it's always good to a bit of networking and seeing what's new on the market I think SOS is doing a great job with all their machines always on sort of cutting edge of what's new and stuff like that Hi I'm Sean Reynolds Head Groundsman here at Bristol uh, alongside me is Simon Head Groundsman from Taunton and Carl Head Groundsman from AGS Bowl, Hampshire. Um, this is all new for me, it was an amazing event. Um, never expected this many people to turn up on the ground. Um, it's good from our Groundsman Association point of view that we've got quite a few Gloucester um, cricket clubs represented here, so it's good for them and we can, the guys are networking with them, so that's we find that a really good, useful tool and we can move out from here. And it's great to have these guys along as well because I think that's helped in bring a number of people along to this sort of event because you know, the, you know, the standout people in the job are here representing the, the, the sport. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't agree more with that really. It's, it's just nice to see so many people around. I mean, I've caught up with people that I knew when I was 18 and became a groundsman at Somerset for the first time and I've not seen them since I took over as head ground. So it's just been great to catch up with people that you know. And also it's just interesting to hear from the speakers and look at the ground and it's all, you're always trying to gleam information out of people to, to use at your own ground so it's just great to, to be around and soak up information really. Yeah for me this is my first Dennis Sice's day and uh, when I came in to see so many guys sitting down there on the table around the chairs and listen to the guys I think it's very important all these guys speak together you know we all have the same issues same problems be it from volunteer level to our level so uh, just to stand in the same room and chat to the guys about their problems and what their our problems are and how we all sort of got to it and pick each other's brains really I think it's great so to have nearly 250, 300 people here I think it's fantastic for the uh, industry itself. Uh, my name's Barry Glynn, I'm the ex-head groundsman at East Miles of Cricket Club in Surrey. I've been involved now probably four or five years with these Dennis Sisis days. Uh, my background was that I've been a lifelong cricket player, supporter, um, my two sons played, I was a coach. So basically I've done everything at cricket clubs from playing, captaining, secretary, and I ended up as a groundsman for the best part of 10 years. Um, 
So basically I'm a cricket fanatic. This game of cricket is far more complicated than I ever thought because I thought the being a groundsman was going to be easy and it isn't. The best thing about these days is that it is run by groundsmen for groundsmen. And I've been to other seminars where this has not been the case. Yes, we've got sponsors here and they gratefully, they do sponsor and they help us put on these things because it, it does cost a lot of money. But they don't push their products down your throat, they will talk to you, they're here all day and it's a thoroughly good day. Today we had 250 people here. I went to the first one at Uxbridge six years ago and we had 80. Just the fact that it's grown this big and in actual fact they could have got even more people if they could have accommodated them shows you what a great day it is and how much people appreciate it. Hi, my name is Stuart Ward. i um, just come to the uh, at Bristol for the seminar with the Dennis and Sysis. Uh, I've listened to a couple of speakers, professional groundsmen on the cricket side, uh, volunteer groundsmen, and uh, found it extremely useful, uh, all the information that's been put about from lower levels all the way to the top levels, and uh, some real good speakers. Really good day. Enjoyed it. I'd like to come back again. Hi, my name's Chris Wood. I'm the pitches consultant for the England Wales Cricket Board, and I'm here today with this sponsored Dennis Sysis seminar and it's been a, a fantastic day uh, one of the highest attendances i've ever encountered uh, over 250 people and it's been an absolute pleasure to uh, conduct a presentation in front of them these are all practicing groundsmen around the country um, they are the very stage managers for our cricketers to play on so without them uh, we wouldn't have a game and here at the county ground it's given them a chance to come on to a county and international ground where the head groundsmen participate in and we've also had four other county groundsmen as well to lend their expertise so we've had questions and answers we've had speakers all day and behind me here um, we've got uh, a training facility now which has been developed from one of our earliest ones which you roof over a net at Chelmsford and we've gone very high tech at uh, National Creek Performance Centre at Loughborough and Surrey have got one at the Oval and this is a lesser version but it's great to see that attempts are being made to actually uh, bring cricket training facilities in slightly out of the season and that's what groundsmen are for, for producing that kind of facility. So these kind of seminars are absolutely ideal for us to gather, um, give moral boosting tips uh, and advice to these groundsmen as we're on the cusp of a long hard summer to come in and um, we're all looking forward to the sun shining again and cricketers participating on striped up green fields of summer and that's part of our English heritage and long may it last. Well I think well, undoubtedly don't yeah. I think that, and the people that have been here today will go and say the same thing so mm. I think really it can only get bigger and bigger and I think this yeah. is obviously the, the go-to event for cricket seminars now and I think people know that now and I think that's brilliant. Definitely, yeah. I mean, the more people that can get to these things and socialise and, and talk about the industry, then the better it is for the industry, really. Um, obviously, you were up in Durham last year and Bristol this year. Hopefully, you can get into the South East, into the Midlands, and just spread the word a bit more, really. Yeah, I host the Hampshire Cricket Board guys now a couple of times so far since I've been in the job. And it's only a small group, and they enjoy coming just for the day as well to have a look around. So, to get this kind of number of people to do the similar sort of thing, I think, is uh, fantastic.